abilities and their uniqueness. Disability is not inability. Think about it. When you dream, dream. Good evening, cherished listeners. Welcome once again to Disability Focus. Today is Thursday, 9 p.m. As you usually know, this is your most authoritative, most informative, and educative program about disability. My name is Samson Chivo, and I am your host for today's show. You can also call me Samson the Strong Man. You're all welcome, all chance listeners. And this program is sponsored by the Special Education Student Association. The semester has been a good and successful one. Even though there have been many challenges encountered by each one of us. Nevertheless, here we are still alive, kicking and lively. And on today's episode, we are going to focus on the strengths and weaknesses of the radio program that we have had since the beginning of the semester and that we want us all of us to share and make things better for next semester so last week if you did notice and remember i did said get into the concluding aspect that get your best episode that you enjoyed for the semester ready your worst one your suggestions and recommendations and let us share on today's show to get on the overview of the various episodes that we had for the whole of semester on the disability focus. However, I have some fine and then some fine one who have <laughs> helping me, helping me through the process since we started. One has to do with my son language interpreter with Josea and those who are listening and are having a uh, hearing impaired can join us via the Facebook live on off radio with B98.3 FM on Facebook and you can get a feel of what actually is happening. However, today's session will go along to our audience. So get ready because the phone will be open very soon or sooner than it used to because today you are also a panelist on the show. So get your 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 worst episode, your best one, and let's discuss. So I have here in the studio my former host of the disability focus of the name Mr. P. Anthony, aka the brilliant aqua remember. And then we have Miss Patricia Uni, who is the current co-host of the Disability Focus. Once again, welcome to the Disability Focus show. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Samson. Patricia, welcome. Thank you. It's, it's been a good journey working with both of you, both um, internally and then externally, uh, putting on all contributions to make the program is success and uh, coming up with a lot of struggling that we go through preparing ourselves for the next episodes at the other. But today is going to be the overview of what we already have. But before we go into more details, let's let's just brush off on the various sessions that we had. So firstly, um with the beginning session and uh, we started on the 21st of January 2021, which was a Thursday. And the topic of discussion was a uh, disability focus work on all students back on campus. So next to that. Next to that is uh, all you need to know about the Special Education Students Association. That is on Thursday, 28 January. 2021. So uh, on the 28th, we moved on on 4 February 2021, where we discussed the effect of COVID-19 on academics and persons with um, persons with disabilities perspective, where we had a lot of 
discussion on how COVID-19 has affected the academic, especially those who have disabilities. Next to that, we move to... And on the 11th February, we discuss about the role of students towards individuals with special needs on campus amid the COVID-19 pandemic. So after that, we proceed to the 18th of February, where we had, um, we discussed on the topic, assessing the impact of COVID-19 on disability aiders. And on the 25th February, we discussed time with Darak. Okay, so on the 25th, then after that, we move to the 4th of March and the topic student views on disability on campus. And on the 11th March, we discuss what we do at the resource center for students with special needs. Followed for that, we discuss on what we do at the audiology center. On the 1st of April, the realities of teaching persons with disabilities was a discussion. And then on the 8th of April, we had um, a discussion on the question, what is rehabilitation? And on the 15th of April, we discuss about the work of a sign language interpreter. And then here marks the last day of the episode, which is 22nd of April, talking about the overview of the session of the disability focus for the first semester of the 2020 2021 academic year. Hello, Tony. Hi, Samson. Yeah, so, so far, this is what we did. We had uh, 14 solid weeks of discussion on various topics around um, disability and its related issues. Let me ask you, what was your best, like, the one that you enjoyed the most? Oh, okay. First of all, let me say a very good evening, too our <coughs> cherished listeners who because of their support we've been able to travel to this far and so i cannot make any comment without first uh, greeting them and also let's say glory be to god for guiding us through up to this time in fact uh, this program we have had a lot of insightful uh, discussions and uh, i just cannot single out only one almost all the topics that uh, we discussed here were all insightful. But of course, they say when you are counting hot things, by all means, you, rem you remove fire or you count fire first. And so, sure. by all means, we had a lot of them, but there are a few. Mm -hmm. Outstanding that, ones. That, yeah, that <laughs> yeah, I <exactly>. think uh, <laughs> listeners or that topic w w could be sort of an eye opener okay. to most of the listeners. And I hope as uh, we go on. I'll, I'll, I'll bring them out. Okay. So, as we start now, give us the first, your first one, your first best one. Oh, okay. The one that I enjoyed most was your our encounter with uh, the personnel from the rehabilit uh, rehabilitation center at CBL. In fact, uh, the lecturer made a number of profound uh, statement that some of us or some people had not been that day. Most of the things that he said could be something that you have not heard of. Especially, you could, in the first place, you might think uh, it's only persons with disability that may need the services of persons with, uh, uh, that's a severe personal. Yeah, or but re rehabilitation. That is it. But through that, we, we, we learned that any person at all, when you, 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 are, you are in a circumstance, or circumstance may, uh, you know, uh, be a needful for you to yeah. go to these people for uh, their service. Exactly. And so, had it not been that days, I don't think some of us. Alpha Derek is for only persons with disabilities. That is it. We go, thought it is only to peculiar to persons with disabilities, but okay. not knowing that everybody is eligible or could assess their uh, service. Okay. And so, that would be one of my favorite topics that we discuss here. Thank you very much, Tony. So, listeners, this is where you show your loyalty and 
your patriotism to what you really have for the disability focus. So the phone line has been open and the line is 0503-923-158, 0503-923-158. Call in, you can text, you can also WhatsApp message on the same number, talking about your best show that you enjoyed during the semester. Mm -hmm. Let me come to Patricia. Patricia, let, let me also know, like your first you you have been asked through as well. Let me know your best out of the show for now. Oh, okay. Mine was um on the twenty fifth of February. Okay. That's all you need to know about the special education students association. Okay. Yes. So questions were being raised about if we are not students of special education, can you join special okay. education okay. department? Yes, I think that was the, the topic I really enjoyed in this semester. Okay, thank you very much. So I, I don't know what I can add up. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so listeners, we just join in. This is Disability Focus. Already in the way, 98.3 FM. And this show comes to you every Thursday from 9, 40, 9 o'clock to 9.40 p.m. This program is sponsored by the special education student association and today being our last day on the disability focus on the radio wind bay before school closes we are here discussing on the overview of the various sessions and all episodes that we had the best ones that we you are all the ones that you've enjoyed so far so you can just also join us um through just phone line by calling or sending your WhatsApp number and uh, your WhatsApp message of your best episode for this semester on the line zero five zero three nine two three one five eight zero five zero three nine two three one five eight. But before you come in, let me also say my okay my best um episode for this semester was the effect of uh, COVID-19 on academics where we had a contact with one um, lawyer who is visually um, impaired and was pursuing his um, PhD who joined us through the phone call. There were a lot of questions like direct questions and then we had my, my colleague Bismarck who was here yeah, also visually impaired and we really had a hot interactive section. I, I'm not saying that I need to select one. And for me, for this semester, the, that is what I choose first. But before that, you were coming in, Tony. Sure. Uh, among the favorites, mm -hmm. uh, our encounter with personnel from re the Reading Resource Center. Okay. Was also one an eye opener yes. discussion that we, we, we had here because it was that day that I realized that uh, sometimes some people pronounce words that you might think they are trivializing the issue, but we need that when you when you follow up, you could see that there is a, a problem with such a person. Yeah. What what the person will be saying, and so uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure it, it, it might be that uh here that we taught somebody who who pronounced some voice that we, uh, maybe you talk, you, you might think the person is is just joking or he's trivializing the issue yeah but, but when there is consistency <laughs> we realize that there's a problem with that person and so we 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 were enlightened that when you go to the reading resource center you could be or they can remediate such a problem for you and so i think that that was also one of the best uh, discussions we had on this honestly i need to repeat this on that show we had um the first senior lecturer now so for the first time um uh, which was madame florence a man who really dealt with that situation we are so mm -hmm. honored that, that we, we actually had her over with us because we know the busy schedule of most of our lectures but we were so honored 
and I'll continue to repeat this because we were actually looking forward for such a thing in our show and it did happen for her honoring and considering the time and everything in making up but we have some comments that are coming in mm -hmm. from the Facebook feed we have a Nana Mankwa Nana Yawa Mankwa who says that a few are good work done and the host too and then we have Andy Fab watching you guys live from Kumasi thanks for making us awareness of our disability keep it up wow Andy from Kumasi that is so enlightening Kwame Sag also saying that watching your life and then Steven Jumbo say nice one so keep on your messages your comments and also your uh, views also in and it to be read so we also have and uh, you can also log on to the university website where the on the official homepage you have the um radio wind v logo there you click on to listen and enjoy us and then you can call or test or whatsapp on this number zero five zero three nine two three one five eight to also bring in your feedback or your suggestions as we move on let's go this what was your worst like you consider that um oh, you enjoyed it but you really had a lot of problems with it your worst mm, Tony. worst yes for worst uh something i don't think uh, i have any thing in mind and i couldn't encounter i couldn't realize that i'm sure our listeners will even testify that all the programs that we had were just all were insightful something that had gone a long way to you know shape the attitude towards persons with disabilities so for something in terms of a uh, program that i i uh, couldn't enjoy i don't think I, I, I had any listeners do you agree with what tony is saying you can only prove that by calling in <laughs> or sending your messages because i kind of doubt that at least <laughs> there should be something to talk about patricia i'm not i'm i'm not i'm not sure that you are buying to this so what do you say oh i don't think there was any worse um program because day in and day out we try to improve on what we do and then thank god this semester all the programs were very successful okay yeah okay then let me see maybe the worst is too harsh mm. <laughs> let me try to change it now like a program of the show that even though it was okay but you had a lot of comment and uh, oh you could have make it like this like it or like that something like that and then it's so is there any of them that you had a lot of views about it any turn well not what none of them came to my attention in fact uh it appears all the comments that were tricky you know the calls that i have been receiving for the programs we have been doing have been one that uh, always the call to commend us except that some have been saying that we have a limited time and that one i'm i'm sure it is not within our ambit yeah you know we have uh where we have to work to and some of these things need to liaise okay. and so i think going forward you have to engage the appropriate quarters whether they can help us with maybe additional uh, time but for uh topics that we discussed mm -hmm. and people were sharing maybe where raising concern okay those things in fact couldn't come to my attention not i could i cannot just uh, remember when uh, okay. somebody called to either ask a question or to question something that we said sure thank you very much we have a message on whatsapp that says that good evening to you mr something or your panelist let me first of all congratulate you on the hard work and dedication to the call of duty goodness my favorite among all the programs discussed is education i mean covid 19 of which i was mobilized as part of the panelists i did enjoy it i am someone i can't say good evening <laughs> thank you so much 
Thank you, Sam. You 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 really do have to enjoy the show <laughs> that you were part of the finalists. Sure. That time, <laughs> that <laughs> it's an obvious. But I, I I thank you for that clarification. And then you can also go on with a program that you didn't enjoy. So listeners, keep on your feed coming in to be read and everything we done today. You are part of the panel, so make your voice count and let's do what we are supposed to do. The phone line once again is 0503-923-158. 0503-923-158. You can call in, you can send your text message or WhatsApp message and everything will be read on. You also live on Facebook via Radio Wind V98.3 FM. Every comment will be read here and then we can enjoy the show together. Hello, Patricia. Hi, something. Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? I'm there. I'm very sure that we did have a good show. I, 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 I cannot actually figure out the worst myself. Yeah. But at least I do go over certain, um, after the program, certain things. I go so that you can try to correct yourself in certain things. We are not like in a few masters of this, yeah. but we try to learn on because of the platform that we have been ha- given by the university and uh, the management of the Radio Wind Bay that we need to thank them a lot for. And then, however, I wouldn't say that I had a, a worse or some none of the show that I didn't really enjoy because there's was always a smile on my face any time I'm being there. It's like the energy keep on growing any episode from anyone and the rich and the umbrella in which we covered for the semester. For me personally, I would say it was something um, plaudable. So, but, but, but let me ask you this, Patricia. I know that alongside the program, there was a lot of suggestions that even though it wouldn't be your reach, but you love to have it to be added because of your have that. Oh, more can be added to the show to make it like more nicer, more attractive, or, or better. Do you have any suggestions so far? on what we've done or uh, uh, on the overall program or uh, uh, the radio show okay thank you for that question i i think we we need more sponsorship mm-hmm. yes we need more sponsorship at least to push the program forward maybe eight o'clock p.m to nine or seven thirty to maybe eight thirty. Okay. Because I think by if if not for the sake of exam, some people will be sleeping. Okay. Yes, and they won't enjoy the program. So I think that's my suggestion. I think that one has to be done with some management and issues, <laughs> but we will still work around it and see mm-hmm. how far it, it goes. So these are just suggestions that are there, and that need to be worked on, and then. Um, Tony, any other suggestion that you would like to add up? No, okay. I'm sure we have a number of suggestions, but some should be in camera. We should just have those discussion okay. at our committee level. Okay. But the one that I think you can share with our listeners that we can even promise is that going forward, we have to announce their phone lines earlier so that uh, earlier and routinely why we host the program so that l- uh, they can just get the numbers and call okay uh, because that's what i think they have been complaining oh, sometimes okay. you didn't announce the phone lines earlier Early. so some are not able to just get the number and they will be called in when we had left the studio so i'm so i'm sure going forward you need to announce the phone lines earlier so that they can also be part of the show okay sure okay so that is actually a good thing that you will let us know so once again if you want to call in as uh, my boss has already said the phone line is 0503 923 158 
0503923158 you can test your whatsapp messages and your text messages on the same uh, line and then you can also call in the, we are, we are, the facebook live is still there so you can join in and add more um, comments to the facebook area we know that a lot of you have suggestions so call in and share with us if you enjoyed it and you want to congratulate us also you can share your appreciation so that we will see that we have a lot of loyal listeners doing that if not any other show but today for us because today is the day the last day that we are having this show for the semester so let's all have this moment together so Tony Sounds with sense. all the suggestions in keeping up the thing forward what are some of the recommendations that you are making because there are some of them they have to be management level but at the at this level so that all of us as listeners can can comprehend and get to know what are some of the comments or the recommendations that you like to make well uh one i'll recommend that uh listeners sometimes uh it appears they have the view that when they call they only have to ask questions so sometimes they can also make suggestions because okay. as you come and sit here we are not a repository of knowledge and so we always welcome their you know views, views. we don't only announce their phone lines for questions alone sometimes we want them to you know contribute by way of suggestions and also uh, recommendations because it appears all the calls that comes in has been you know asking questions because issues that borders on disability i'm sure it is uh, one that we all have a stake in and so the issue should not always be calling in only to ask questions because that has been the usual practice okay. so i would suggest that sometimes it shouldn't be question alone they can also come out with suge suggestions because we live with persons with disability within uh, our environments or they are with us and we what we come and do here is just limited the thing is vast and varied exactly. and so we hope and we recommend that going forward whenever we are hosting a program we, they should also call and make uh, suggestions and anything that they think they can bring on board even though we are not saying they shouldn't call to ask questions but they should vary it so that you 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 will know that we are part of or they are part of us okay that is it but before i move on to patricia let me ask you this because you have been in the hosting the program for like two years sure. before i came into our session later go on sure getting the start of the program and those that you've hosted and now moving on to this stage sure do you see an increase of improvement or otherwise sure there has been a tremendous uh, improvement because you know uh when i started even though i had quite a number of listenership that uh, you cannot measure but when i'm the, in the house listening to the program and okay. the comments and feedback that comes to me mm -hmm. personally tells me that uh we are making inroads even though when we are on radio, sometimes the, your output or your success cannot just be measured with the number of people who call in. Okay. It should be measured by the uh, change in attitude of the people out there. So okay. I want to see a reflection out there. Because sometimes you will come on, you will come here, you host a program, they will call in. Mm -hmm. Some people may call to ask questions or just bring out their comments. But how they do go there to translate yeah. what we implore them to do, then what we come and do here, or we, what we come and sit here to do, will be just a mere discussion. Exactly. So I'm sure uh, measuring our success, we cannot just sit here and say maybe the uh, the callers who call in uh, uh, tell us should tell us that we are doing something okay. better. But it should reflect in the chain of attitude okay. toward or how 
they engage with this PWD that we have in coming here to Talk you know uh, champion yeah. their cause. Yeah. And so I'm sure uh, for two years or getting to three years now, mm -hmm. I want to believe that all that we have come here to share is making a kind of inroads and going forward, whoever have had chance to listen to our program okay. should translate that uh, attitude to persons with disability because these are people who society okay there is a calling all right hello please lower your uh, radio set please i'm not close to any radio set what can we be good evening your name and where you are calling from good evening from finance somewhere okay I was sending a message a few minutes ago. All right, your comments. Yes. Uh, um, well, let me say good evening to your panelists, okay. Mr. Tony and then the, the lady. Okay. Uh, I already asked him a question among the program that were uh, discussed, which of them uh, was the worst and which is not. Yes. I believe all the program that were discussed. It is difficult when it was a certain program to say this particular program was the worst. No. Because I believe that all the areas that were touched were areas that were very fascinating. Okay. And then uh, wrong perceptions towards people with disabilities actually were transformed. Mm -hmm. uh, attitudes that were not good towards people with disabilities were shaped. Okay. And so, lo and behold, there's been a great job. Um, it, it would be very difficult to determine that this particular program actually, even though there is some losses come here, that, that's my senior nature. Okay. That is 100% perception will not be, I mean, perception will not be there. Exactly. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 so that 100% uh, perfection will not be there. Okay. Also, uh, no matter what you do, even if you, uh, you can call professors, I would have to come and sit on but There will still be some mistake somewhere, you know. So, human nature. So, yeah. all the programs were okay, and okay. I believe. Yes. Okay. Thank yeah, you very much, someone, for your contributions. We have a comment from Facebook of the name Daniel Bifa Ahama, who says that wonderful watching your life from the United Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel, for watching that from the United Kingdom, UK. And actually, adding a few of words to what we are doing over here in Ghana, especially inside the University of Education, Winneba, on the radio program we are having. We are honored to have your comment over here and keep on listening from next semester and keep on adding a few of words. And other people who are in the part of the country listening can also do the same. So, Tony, you were on something before I give the sure. as I said the, the best measuring rod of our our progress or otherwise will be the change in attitude of the people okay who listen to it out there because our person with disability as you know you've been marginal for quite a long time exactly. and uh, they say a uh, habit one has cultivated is no easy to eradicate exactly. but we are, we, we are hopeful that with the insightful and the kind of uh, engagement you have had so far mm -hmm. will go a long way to change the attitude going forward. Thank you, Patricia. What should we expect in next semester? What is your foresight in getting the kind of program we should have and how you want the program to be like next semester? Um, I think we have to improve on what we had all the programs we had this semester. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you need to add other segments. Other segments. Yeah, like other segment. It could be like maybe uh, because you know persons with disabilities, some are prolific in terms of writing articles. Yeah. And so maybe you can make those segments okay. where you maybe about ten minutes could be uh, allocated for you know, sharing these articles with the people. Okay. Because some, when you read them, there are inspirations mm -hmm. from that. And so I think that going forward on next semester, we can introduce those segments. Okay. Where you, or, or sometimes you can just call them, those writers themselves, to come and share 
the, the article with the people and okay. i'm sure that one will go a long way to shape the attitude of the people who are listening sure so, thank you very much if you are a person of interest either with disability or not in the either in the special education department or not or either an outside person and you like to sponsor the radio program that we have now you want to add up your voice in making a suggestion or even have other information inquiries just call me on this number zero five zero zero two zero two six two one nine zero four zero two zero two six two one nine zero four and then you we can contact her, her us and then we can go on with anything that you want to request and make the appropriate arrangement time is just hitting us so we would love to end it over here but before we do that just in 30 seconds what will be your last words and before we close down patricia okay thank you um we encourage everyone to listen to this program okay next semester mm -hmm. and it's going to be insightful okay yeah and educative all right yes tony okay uh what i would say is that listeners should not uh they should you know expect a lot from us because as we are going on hibernation for a short mm -hmm. uh, period yeah we are also going to dig deep in terms of research exactly so that we will not just come and sit here and say what we we we, we don't understand or whatever and so we are going to prepare fully and so next semester they should expect a number of insightful topics mm -hmm. that uh, we are preparing to come and share with them. Right. And uh, they uh, as we, in fact, we've said a lot. So the ones that we shared earlier, they should practice it, especially when they engage persons with disability. Those uh, weird uh, stories they've heard. I'm sure, even though we have not, I will, I will not say we have. Uh, as I said, saying it all, but the, the ones that we have shared with them, mm -hmm. they should, you know, translate it so okay. that we that will be the best uh, measure for our success or output here. Okay. So we want them to translate those things uh -huh, because these are people who have been marginalized, been marginalized for quite a long time mm -hmm. and it continues to fester in our society. Exactly. And so we, we, we employ on them because as week in week out, we come and sit here. Just, we just not just come and see just to waste our, uh, waste our time or just uh, express our linguistic openness. Exactly. We want to change attitude. All right. And that's what that has been our focus. Exactly. And so we want them to also translate, uh, translate or practical as whatever we come here to espouse. Thank you. So very we, 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 if you expect more from us, next time, Mr. Exactly. Right. So as I already. I'll be seeing about the disability focus. If you are even inside the Department of Special Education, the program has been designed that you are saving a student who you will see and know everything, mm. but you should learn something beneficial from a single episode that we have. So the program is more of a social program that is rather it. than more into academic and you come and sit down and do it, but we want to have a lot of Im impact so that those even who are outside the Department of Special Education can understand, sure. can able to digest what we are saying and even practice them. Because you get a lot to enjoy special education when they get to level 200 and then they, they do introduction to special education. I've had a lot of testimonies of colleagues and other people even come before even coming to do uh, you let, let me make this clarification to our listeners too okay the program is not only restricted to students within a special education exactly. any well meaning Ghanaian or student who is willing and ready to champion the course of PWDs they are welcome exactly uh -huh. and it doesn't necessarily there have to be in special education because before you have fair knowledge about uh, disability exactly these are things that are around us or they are with us and disability is just not peculiar to specific people mm -hmm. at any point in time you you, you, you can acquire or you, you may fall in that 
And so we, we are calling on everybody who is ready to join this campaign. It is not restricted to special education students. Okay. Uh, that one should be clarified to our listeners. And then we did manifest that in the kind of um, panelists that we had. Sure. We had a couple of panelists who were totally not from the Department of Special Education. So we had one from Health Administration, the Social Studies, and sure. we had a couple of uh, panelists sure. who were not out from the out from this uh, special education that's inclusive program of exactly course. so we want all of them to be there so if you want to join in and maybe become a panelist mm. on a topic that you suggest sure you can consider that in 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 our preparation mm. have it in and then call you in to come and do the discussion together with us so sure. if the real issue you have the passion and you love to be to help and contribute the welfare of persons with disability. Sure. That is the most important one that we are looking for. Sure, and to those philanthropists out there, we are calling on them because in fact we have, sometimes we have a number of issues to discuss, but because of time constraint, mm -hmm. we have to just cut attention short and uh, move out for another program to also come. Okay. With. And so we are calling on them that at least something small, they can use that to uh, sponsor us so that we can have um, uh, more time mm. to discuss some of the topics that uh, we bring on board. But due to time factor, we have to just shorten it and move out. And so, not only uh, those, who, it's not about having much or what. Yeah. The letter that we have, they can just come and use, use it to sponsor us so that we can share a lot more with our listeners thank you very much so we cannot close down the curtains today without mentioning our chief patron of the department of the special education couple to be the head of department of the name mr and dr samuel for all his support that he has for the for the CESA radio committee and his team and I cannot also have it successful without all my team members Patricia, Tony, Josiah and other people who are contributing outside the radio committee in terms of making your suggestions and your views to be able to do the various modifications and the improvement that we had until so far and we continue to entreat you to do all that to help us to improve we can also we can also do without our technical team members inside the radio with the 98.3 fm the first one has to do so the first one has to do with the manager of the radio with the v uh, mostly known as Patrika and we are so happy that with all the support and the advices that in any moment we have any show they, 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 he has the time even with his busy schedule something do this do that do that Patricia do that do that do that or when you do this it will be better we and actually and all his contributions and other follow-up that he does and to welcome under his umbrella with all his support systems. A very thank you to Kwame Hunt, who is the technical chief for today's show. A big thank you to Papa Bright, King Kobe, and Mesana Moa, and other um, colleagues, students who are also hosting and doing their program on this noble platform because we do share ideas in one way or the other in order to make um, our video program much more interesting for the public and how to consider the views of others into the um, sector of who we are and then what we're doing in order to improve the image of the University of Education 
whenever. So a big thank you to all of you. But before we go, um, I would like you to have uh, some people that you, you would like to shout out to them for the last time. <laughs> then we, we say a very good bye to everyone. So Patricia, any shout out? Oh, shout out to um, CBR coordinator, mm-hmm. Mr. H. Ampo. Okay. Um, Gloria, Jennifer Monkwa, Sandra, and all my family members. Thank you very Thank much. You. Tony. Okay. Uh, let me extend my profound gratitude to the manager of Radio Windibi, Mr. Pierre Kobe Jones, popularly known as Ken Batuka. Mm-hmm. In fact, we appreciate his um, French and you know, directives that he's been giving to us. Because had it not been that, maybe he would have been able to climb up to this time. Exactly. And so we appreciate all his support and directives. And also Papa Bright and the other technical team members. And uh, uh, Andrews, Andrews, he's in Kumase. I'm sure by now he's watching the program. Mm-hmm. And so let me say uh, kudos to him. That's Mr. Fab. And uh, Samuel Kanseke, I'm sure he called in. Samuel, if you are still listening to us, my greetings to you exactly. and my mom and the other colleagues in the house listening to the program and those who are watching us from afar. My greetings to everybody. My first shout out will go to the Dean of Education of uh, of the name um, Professor Samuel Hayford. He has also been making some contributions and uh, he is very aware of the program that we are doing. We say a big thank you to him and then all his support. Uh, a big shout out to the HOD of the Department of Special Education. A big thank you to the coordinator for the um, education for the intellectual disabled, uh, Madame Ekia Florence Mensa. And then we have my colleague in Tens who are in the Reading Resource Center. I have Tony Yeboa and Richard, Coffee Richard Eva. I also have a uh, Miss Paul Doko. Also, Dean is also there, and other colleagues who are also doing their internship in other parts of the country. It's been a wonderful um, opportunity working with you, having the team work together. So, in order to conclude on today's show, um, thanks to all loyal listeners for your time and contributions you made for the progress of the show. Today marks the official day for putting this for putting the disability focus show on rest and continue the show next semester. The CESA Radio Committee wishes all students the best on their remaining exams. Additionally, we continue to wish all students of this noble institution a happy vacation. Alive by following all the safety protocols directive. Thank you all cherished listeners of this show. From the chief patron of the Department of Special Education, the CESA executives, the Radio Windy Bay Technical Team, all lecturers from the department, the entire student body, and to the general public. We meet again next semester. CESA. For, for humanity. We are out now. Send <laughs> me